Hello, faithful, and welcome to a new edition of White Throne Metal Radio's Top 10 Songs. I am your host, Kevin Crothers, station manager for White Throne Metal Radio and staff writer for Heaven's Metal Magazine, and occasional host for the Throne Room Podcast as well. Glad you chose to come hang out with me today. Today, I want to talk to you about, uh, for some of you, it's going to be somebody you've probably heard of, maybe haven't heard. Um, New Mexico power metal thrash metal band Ultimatum. Ultimatum actually been were around for almost a little over 20 years. Um, I, I've got my 10 favorite tracks. We're gonna briefly kind of go through the discography. Uh, lead singer, vocalist Scott Waters and lead guitar player and founder Robert Gutierrez actually did a great video two videos as a matter of fact kind of on a history of ultimatum um, that's available on youtube i'll kind of put some links to those uh videos in the uh description below you're going to want to check those out too they're very cool a lot of fun um kind of gives a little more into the history of the band and i've had a chance to see him i saw him once at the up from the ashes festival back in 2010 uh last my only time I've ever seen them, fantastic performance, uh, great guys, had a really good time, um, you know, me and Dale Huffman, one of the few times I got a chance to hang out with Dale Huffman, he and I hanging out and headbanging a lot in that show. Uh, so anyway, the catalog, they released several albums starting off with Symphonic Extremities in 1996. The, actually, this is kind of a compilation of two of their demos. Um, again, they'll talk to you more about it in the videos. Following after that was Puppet of Destruction from 1998. Um, I actually have a bonus. This is a reissue from Rocks Productions that came out in 2009. It also includes the F Fatal Delay demo, which... If I remember correctly, you can find tracks from that on that Symphonic Extremities. But this is its own thing here. A great reissue. You can find copies of that, followed up by Perilous Times. This came out in, what, 2000. And it, another solid uh, power metal, thrash metal offering. Now there's another EP they released, a very limited edition EP. Um, I don't have that. Uh, I do have the la one of the last albums also after that. This was from 2007, uh, Into the Pit. 2007, 2008, Into the Pit, uh, released on Retroactive. It's actually come out on uh, vinyl as well. All of these I think have come out on vinyl at some point. Then after they released a, uh, a covers album, Lex Metallus, some fantastic stuff on here. Absolutely fantastic stuff. But we won't be talking about anything off of this album because when we do a top 10 songs, it's all original material. Just kind of a drag because there's some great stuff on this album. The last thing they released uh, was the Heart of Metal 20 Years of Ultimatum, uh, the actual CD itself, uh, readily available. You can get it just about anywhere still. But they released also a box set that included that CD as well as a DVD, which has all kinds of live performances, uh, Extreme Mardi Gras in 2002, uh, From the Ashes 3, 2010, the show I got to see. A lot of bonus material, video clips um, from all kinds of other Ultimatum shows. Fantastic stuff. The, there was also inside this box called Before the Pit, more demos and alternate uh, releases. Um, it came with another copy of Puppet of Destruction. This one did not have the bonus Fatal Delay disc. I think you can see that. Trying to keep the glare down. There was a nice little packet in here. It had a patch, a pick, and a sticker. I hope you can see that okay. And then pictures, all signed by the guys. Rob Whitlock, 
um, Tim Tuma, Alan Tuma, pardon me, Alan, sorry about that, Mr. Scott Waters, and of course, Mr. Robert Gutierrez. Hope I'm not going too fast there. I'm trying to keep the length of the video shorter. I know some of these get to be a little long. I get a little long-winded, and uh, I'm hoping to kind of keep it a little more succinct and to the point. So top 10 songs, my favorites. You know, it took me a little bit to put this list together because I came to Ultimatum late. Um, I really picked up on Ultimatum on the last album, well, next to the Into the Pit, and then Lex Metallus. It was like 2009, 2010 that I really picked up on them. And uh, from that, it, it, it just, you know, there was so much. I, I had, you know, I ste had stepped out of music and the whole thing for over 10 years, except for certain things here and there. Um, so it was kind of like going back to school, rediscovering what I liked, what I didn't like. But with Ultimatum, there's a lot of tracks, man, that are fantastic. So um, I am going to try to get some uh, audio clips into this video as well, if not in the video, at least at the end. So let's get down to it. Coming in at number 10 off the debut album, Symphonic Extremities, the track Darkest Boy. Um, on, that, on that album, you can really tell Ultimatum's trying to find their identity. Scott's trying to find his voice a bit. Uh, Darkest Void has a more, almost like new wave of British heavy metal sound to me. A more early, you know, in the 80s, power metal was not keyboard driven European heavy metal. Power metal was bands like Metal Church, Malaya Rage, uh, who were, they were heavier than Judas Priest, but they weren't playing as fast, you know, as Metallica or Slayer, you know, in 1984, 1985. They were calling it power metal back then. So when I use that term power metal, that's what I'm referring to, because really Ultimatum is kind of like this amalgam of Metal Church, Exodus, uh, you know, it, it, it's a very American thrashy power metal, or you know, early type stuff, and with hooks. That was always Robert Gutierrez's big thing: write a hook, gotta get a hook in there. So, Darkest Void has a pretty cool hook, um, but you can tell it's early on in their career. Uh, cool tune, coming in at number nine. Off of the 20th anniversary, the Heart of Metal, they actually re re they recorded four new tracks for that 20th anniversary release, and one of those songs to me is one of their best tracks. It's Hook, Line, and Sinker, kind of a mid-tempo romp with a middle section that breaks off, and it frankly it's heavy. Don't mistake this, but it's it, it reminds me of an Iron Maiden type middle bridge it, it, it speeds up it goes great guitar solo and it comes back down a solid hook hook line and sinker comes in at number nine number eight off of the perilous times album a deep track that i don't think it's a lot of play at all but when I heard it and I'm reading the lyrics and everything wow what a great song and I'm talking about violence and bloodshed man it, it a great song musically again solid hook great lyrical content as well violence and bloodshed i mean he, he talks scott ta sings about the crucifixion of christ and this type of thing and it's like it's intense very intense so that song comes in at number eight violence and bloodshed coming in at number seven is the title track from that second album, Puppet of Destruction. Um, it, it, another, it's a kind of a, a mid-tempo mid -tempo piece um, where, with a couple of changes thrown in there and it, nice breakdowns, great guitar solo, cool backup type vocals in that particular record 
and it, it, it really makes the play on that. Uh, Puppet of Destruction comes in at number seven. Now, number six, and I hope I'm not going too fast. Number six actually appeared first on their Symphonic Extremities, the, the, that particular album. They re-recorded it for Into the Pit, and I'm talking about the track Blink. Up-tempo, fast, um, it's not a very long song. It clocks, I think, just under three minutes, but it's a barn burner, and a cool, cool hook that kind of grabs you, pulls you back in. Blink comes in at number six. Coming in at number five, also off of Puppet of Destruction, is Never, an uh, album opener, Never. A great riff, um, you know, it, again, some tempo changes, kind of breaks one way into another, um, but never gonna sell out. And again, that whole album, they had these gang vocals, you know, sell out! Sell out! Ah, never! And land of never, ah, never, whatever. Great song. Never comes in at number five. Now, coming in at number four is from Into the Pit. And it's the album opener, One for All. A great grinder. Slightly upper tempo, a great grinder. And, uh, a, you know, one for all, fill this place with blood. Uh, Scott just barking it out. Uh, he's got that voice that many people kind of say it's like a, a, a somewhere between Udo Dirk Schneider and Zetro Souza, you know, um, on the on the, the three albums. Symphonic Extremities, there's kind of a, he's trying to sing a little more. Again, he's trying to find that voice. And after Puppet and then Perils and Into the Pit and Lex Metallus, he's got this total vibe, like I say, between Udo and Steve Zetro Souza from Exodus. And it sounds fabulous, I think. So, one for all, album opener off of Into the Pit. Coming in at number three off of Perilous Times, another just barnstorming in your face uh it's fast upbeat great guitar solo and a great hook and i'm talking about the album opener temple of the spirit um it, it's it's a track that I, I just when i heard it the first time i was like man that's a great song absolutely a great song uh, i don't know what else to say really it's heavy it's fast it's driving um, Again, a great solo on there, um, and it, it just the hook. That's the thing. It's like memorable songs are memorable songs. They can be heavy. They can be not so heavy, more melodic. You know, I, I like having that energy in there. But it really Temple of the Spirit, great song, and that brings me to my number two, the top two, and the top two. I already knew what my number one. was was going to be and kind of probably cliche in that but number two is also off of Puppet of Destruction and it's a fabulous song um, a great hook uh, pretty deep theologically actually if you go back and go through the lyrics and I'm talking about Mortal Stomp and Robert came up with some great licks in that song um, the riff itself, fantastic. Uh, and again, they've got the gang vocal in there as well. It really is, that's one of the things that I do like about Ultimatum. It's not, you know, they're not trying to be the fastest band in America or the world. They're writing songs. They are song driven, even though they're raw, a bit edgier, obviously, you know, it's, it's, thrash metal slash power metal, but I'm, I'm referring back, if you listen to the first Metal Church album and the second Metal Church album, you know, not every song was, you know, a ton of bricks. 
or Merciless Onslaught, if you're familiar with those tracks from that, those two albums from Atlantic back then. Um, you know, it, it, even Exodus, I mean, when they did songs like Chemical or Toxic Waltz, you know, that 80s era type stuff where it was hook, kind of hook driven. Sometimes they would tempo it down. Of course, Metal Church, Watch the Children Pray, that kind of thing, it was heavy, you know, because, but it wasn't Iron Maiden and it wasn't Judas Priest. Um, it was heavier than that. So, Met Mortal Stomp absolute I think frankly a classic that could show up on any heavy metal compilation and hold its own all the way through which brings me to my number one track my favorite song from ultimatum and frankly how could it not be and if you you probably already know what it is uh, of course when Dale Huffman was alive the host of Metal Pulse Radio. It was his theme song. Um, our friends over at Stone Groove Records, shout out there to, to my brother Randy. Shout out to you, bro. Um, they've digitally re-released a lot of the, if I remember correctly, they, they have or they're working on getting all of the Ultimatum catalog available digitally. Uh, but they released the Ultimatum Heart of Metal EP and that's the song I'm talking about, Heart of Metal. It is a fantastic song, a great hook. Um, it's heavy, great solo. Uh, you know, fist pumping, head banging, Heart of Metal. You know, it's one of those songs. And in concert, I mean, you're going absolutely bonkers. You're raising your fist. It's a, it's a, it's an upbeat. Get your foot moving swing that hair get the windmill moving great song from ultimatum heart of metal is my number one briefly how about some honorable mentions well honestly I, i've got to go right back to that lex metallis album that again their cover they do a cover on here of creeping death by metallica it is the best cover I've ever heard of that song absolutely balls to the wall just drop dead cranks cranks on this they do a cover of ton of bricks by metal church again it cranks the uh, you know they do that song uh, they do sin after sin from a twisted sister locked in chains which I believe is a Moshketeers tune um, gut wrench for mortification um, it, it's a great album you know bands that influence them um, all the way around all these songs are fabulous they do a version of wrath child that absolutely rocks uh, sins of omission by testament um, I, just great stuff you know uh, and like but perilous times greed machine Crash Course, Warlord Sword, Solid Tunes on that. Um, Puppet of Destruction, uh, Gutter Box, uh, Charged Power, great song. Another upbeat, you know, fast tune, World of Sin, solid all the way through. Uh, from, you know, Into the Pit, uh, Exonerate. Uh, there were a lot of these songs. I just didn't have a Death Wish transgressor blind faith um, great stuff from ultimatum so hopefully I kind of trim this down a little bit not quite a 30 minute video trying to get them shorter um, I just sometimes have just I talk too much so I hope you've enjoyed the video share it subscribe like the channel you know the usual stuff Leave your top 10 in the comments below. I want to know what your top 10 ultimatum songs are. I'll put some song clips here at the end till I get some new software that I can intersperse them in. I'm using old uh, Windows Movie Maker, so it doesn't really allow me to cut that stuff up, or at least I don't know how. So anyway, don't forget to say your prayers, and God bless. The fight for life. 